Hi, it's Jared with MiniJunkie.com. Today's video is going to be about painting the new uh, Crypt Horrors from Games Workshop for the uh, Warhammer Vampire accounts. Uh, this is the same kit that makes the Vargeist that I painted in a previous video, so you can make a, a lot of different uh, cool creatures with that kit. I'm going for a very pale, kind of sickly, horrific looking skin tone with these guys so we're going to start out with a really light base coat um, but still kind of a greenish tinge to it sort of so I used P3 Thrall Flesh for that and there you can see the results. Once that was done I hit it with very high highlights of uh, P3 Menoth White Highlight just on the, the tops of the tops of the muscles you know the, the highest points of the body that kind of stuff Following that, I decided to add definition to the whole thing by creating a wash of uh, Crix Bane Base, that's also P3, with a little bit of future floor wax in it. Basically just slather that on the whole thing. Um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look messy for a while, and then we're going to go back and clean that up with uh, some additional airbrushing. Of course, when you're using this wash, you want to make sure you're collecting any pooling that's happening just by using the uh, capillary action of the brush. Then what I did is I, I just added some uh, <clears throat> green ink, Vallejo Game Color green ink to that original wash that I was just using. Um, I don't want these guys to look like the Hulk, and it is fairly green going on here. You can see in the in the video, but. Um, we're, again, we're gonna we're gonna pull that back by um, reapplying some of the base colors that we start out with, bringing back a lot of the the larger surfaces that way. I had a habit of uh, going off camera at this point. Sorry about that. That's why the first two are actually done. Is I did them almost totally off camera, and then I had to show you this guy. While that was kind of drying, I uh, went ahead and base coated the, the rocks and sand with Adeptus Battle Gray. Pretty much going to go for the same base as the Vargeist video, um, and any future Vampire Counts videos that I do uh, are going to have the same bases as well, so we can have an army. God willing. Next, I uh, decided to add some um, Griff. Griffin sepia, <laughs> Griffin sepia. Um, just to create some kind of brownish tinges here and there. Um, I already don't remember if I did it on the whole body or not. I think I did most of it, yeah. These guys are interesting, and 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 any kind of Nurgle or or ghoul or undead, I tend to get pretty experimental with what I'm doing with the paints. Like, you know, I. I'll just be looking at it and I'll think, well, what if we put some of this stuff on? Let's, how's that going to look? And, you know, it, the reality is these guys look gross. So if it looks a little weird, you can cover it up or you can blend in a different kind of ink or whatever. Like, you can get really creative with these guys because pretty much anything other than, like, you know, pink is going to look pretty cool. had to watch this for a sec to figure out what point I was at. Um, here what I'm doing is again going back over with the base color P3 Thrall Flesh and uh, you know I don't want the whole thing to be just a mottled wash mess so bringing back a lot of the larger surfaces uh, using the airbrush And 
and again going over that with the same highlight the Minoth p3 uh, p3 Minoth white highlight I really gotta I gotta get used to saying these paint names I'm sorry about that but yeah same thing really really high level highlights just just lightly applied to the the raised areas and this gosh right off camera sorry guys uh, this process between this and the last base coat I just airbrushed you're gonna get it'll probably end up starting to look a little dusty um, it's hard to explain but you know you lose some of that definition so I'm gonna be going back in a, in a couple steps and uh, hitting it with some more washes but first um, I decided to paint the bone just bleach bone on the uh, bones that are sticking through his arms and, and the spinal bones that are sticking out vertebrae and stuff um, I did this first because the wash I'm going to use on the body is going to be the same as what I want to wash the bones with and the hair so the hair I decided um, thornwood green it's another p3 color it's kind of dark so um, later on I'm going to come back and, and dry brush that a little bit but I also wanted the the uh, Devlin mud wash that I'm planning to do to uh, to wash the hair so I put the hair base coat on first all right so there we got some Devlin mud I added some yellow ink to that before adding the future floor wax which I never used to use so much but I don't know I'm really starting to dig the effect um, I have no idea why I added yellow I just wanted to kinda again I'm really experimenting here seeing what kind of tones I can get out of the out of the skin that's kinda what's fun about painting these undead or, or Nurgle type characters is you can really kinda like try different techniques and see if it see how it looks so using that sort of extra thin down Devlin mud slash yellowish it wasn't very much yellow ink and so it's mostly Devlin but what this does is gonna help bring back the definition into all the muscles and stuff that maybe got a little dusted over with the uh, airbrush with that I'm trying to think how to explain that so when you're when I was airbrushing those extra coats um, yeah I've got email um, it would kind of cover up some of the darkest shading with a light layer so you'd end up with everything looking a little monotonous so here you can see how it's already started to come back the definition the nails again kind of experimenting I painted them bone and now I'm kind of glazing them over with um, Vallejo skin wash I think it's called uh, game color it's really not that great for skin but it has some pretty cool effects I picked up some uh, secret weapon washes at a local store check this out it accidentally squirted all over the place so that was awesome uh, later on I sopped it up and put it back in the bottle but yeah I, I didn't realize the local store was carrying these I thought you had to mail order them so I, I picked up a few this is the uh, I think it's sewer sewer water or something like that and then drying blood which is uh, it's a little it's not very dark but works really well to I found to give that kind of like reddish um, as if the skin is reddened around where the bones are piercing and stuff GW painted this in the official ones as well maybe a little more a little bit more aggressively than I am here this is a really nice color I liked I liked how what I did is I used it for that sort of bulbous mass on their backs so GW the official uh, colors in some cases are, are they're like black or you know very different than the rest of the body but here I decided to go for like it's just like sort of bloated purpley flesh on their backs um, I think this 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 uh, drying blood secret weapon wash was uh, did a good job of that actually really liked it I liked all the washes I got from them I'm gonna try some other ones so there you go that's a mini review of secret weapon washes also ended up applying a little bit around I don't know if I do it in this clip here but a little bit around the eye sockets to give them that sort of reddened you know bad guys have red eye reddened eyes they don't get a lot of sleep <clears throat> dry brushing the base with uh, stonewall gray fortress gray equivalent don't spend a lot of time on that next um, so the bones had been washed with um, quite, actually I, I washed them with that sewer wash and I don't think I showed you that in this in here I apologize but 
After that was dry, I went back with the bleach bone just to pick out some of the highlights on the bone. One of the ghouls has like a ring around its neck, and I just painted that bulk on metal and ended up washing it with the uh, sewer wash as well. And now painting the teeth with um, Vallejo model color ivory. Well, this is playing back really fast. I might have to slow it down next time. Sunburst yellow for the eyes. Same thing I did almost exactly with the Vargais. So a really bright yellow dot, and then I'm go back afterwards and I'm going to cover that with P3 um, red ink. Here I took some yellow ink. You can see it kind of in the top right part of, the, of my palette there. And I'm just glazing over some of the bulbous bits of flesh to kind of give them kind of a sickly look. And it's, it's not uniform. I'm not being neat about it. And I want it to look very organic. That's the word I've been, I've been looking for the whole time. Organic. Next up, I use the secret weapon. I think it's soft black, something like that, soft shadow. I apologize, they're downstairs in my painting room and I'm upstairs. Did that on the uh, tombstone and here's where I, like I said, I went back with on the hair uh, and a, a little dry brush with the Crick's, uh, Crick's Bane highlight. Just to, it's a lighter color to bring out some of the, some of the definition in the fur or hair, whatever it is. Hitting those yellow eyes with the P3 red ink. It's a very, very strong red ink. It's really cool, actually. I quite like it for a lot of uses, but um, just be aware of that. It's a little goes a long way. And here you can actually see I grabbed another brush and wicked away some of it that kind of made, just kind of went a little too far with it. So this is great stuff. Tamiya Clear Red. Hopefully you guys have heard of it. Um, really makes a really, um, good looking kind of gore or wound or blood basically I'm just kinda of putting it in the open wounds on his back by the way I didn't do like the uh, upgrade version with the big spike sticking out of his back I might do that for the another group of three because I think you want to run these in sixes potentially kinda of like smeared around his mouth and I'm using my finger to kinda of dab it to kinda of make it look uneven not just like I smeared it on with the brush but just sort of patchy blood dried on around his mouth and I didn't do it on the other guys but I did use this, this kinda of like gory blood effect on the exposed kinda of muscles that are attached to the uh, the spinal columns Painting the edges of the base, uh, Battlefield Brown, like I did with the last group. I want to keep all my bases looking the same for this force uh, that may or may not materialize. <laughs> I'm just easily distracted. And the same thing again was the uh, Army Painter Swamp Tuft. Just dab it a little bit in the super glue and just gives it that extra bit of uh, staying power. And here they are, the finished models after... Uh, after Tester's Dull Coat Matte Finish. That was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my site. Check out my other videos. Please subscribe. And I love it when you leave a 